Okay. Greetings, folks. Welcome in. Oh, that's the game booting up. Um, I hope everybody is having themselves a pleasant enough evening. I thought it was like 5 o'clock, but it wasn't at all. Let's go to game capture. I may have to move myself this time. Hang on. I also need to set the... I need to start setting this up, you know, before I do this, but I never do. Never once have I actually, like, properly set one of these things up before I've actually done the damn thing. Well, that one hasn't worked. Hmm. Well, Descenders is not responding. <laughs> uh... Um, yeah, sort of, um, meant, meant to sort of be a chill evening stream. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. I haven't played this game in a while, but I've played the shit out of it. Uh, I've, I've put, a, put a lot of hours into it. Um, how many hours? Have I looked? Oh, actually, not as many as I thought. I got like 68 hours in this game. I thought I had a lot more. Oh, here we go. It's worked now. It's just suddenly worked. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh, but yes, uh, my my legendary guy, he out here. Um, so yeah, this is this is a game about um, bikes and shit. Uh, I'm not particularly. Oh shit! Nope, let me move me. Fuck! <laughs> All I'm trying to do is move. Right, we're gonna minimize the game. Oh, I I know what the fuck. I th fuck me, I do this every fucking time. There we go. Right, uh, and then we'll move. All right, I know what we'll do. We'll uh, say this. I really need to start like actually fucking setting this up before I, <laughs> before I do this, but I'll never learn. Okay, it's just to awkwardly shuffle it into the corner. And then grab myself and move myself down. Because to my knowledge, there is absolutely fuck all that happens in this corner of the screen. So, that should be good. Right, now that that is done. Um, okay, right. So, let me just sort of familiarise myself with the controls, and also how to uh, instantly die. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is a, this is a, um, a mountain biking uh, roguelike, and I like me some roguelikes, and uh, I played this, I think it was like my, my, my dad or something introduced me to this game. He like downloaded it on like Xbox Game Pass or some shit, um, and I was like, oh, and I, I played a bunch of it, it was really fun. Um, and, um, and, yeah, no, I ended up buying it on PC and playing the shit out of it, because it's, it's really fucking good. Um, I apologize if you can hear the controller. My controller is quite old and quite shit. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a career session. We're just gonna do one, like, one of the basic ones. Uh, the, the game starts out pretty simple and kind of boring, but it ramps up to be absolutely fucking insane really, really fast. Um, it is a, um, and also those bars are, like, they're a natural thing, they, they're sort of like, um, like a measure of world generation. So yeah, there's our challenge in the top right, if we do that we get a life, um, so we just not let go of Accelerate, which on certain levels is really fucking hard to do. Um, I'm not going to play this game for too long, maybe like an hour or so, because this game gives me mad hand cramp if I play it for too long. Um, because my hands and controllers just do not mix for an extended period of time. As I'm sure you can gather, playing this game on, uh, with a keyboard and mouse is probably not going to be a good idea. 
uh, ignoring the fact that I just straight up don't know what the controls are, or if it even works at all. I mean, you would assume it does. You know, they ported something to PC. It should probably work with PC controls, but who knows. But, um... Okay, uh, stunts, um, we'll do, we'll do the one with maximum stunts, I guess, why not, sure, fuck it. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna play some other games tonight, I don't know what, specifically. Oh, also, I forgot I turned the, the, the music off on this game, I'll have to put on some of my own, but that's okay. Um, a lot of the stuff is, like, lo-fi shit, um, anyway, so, um, oh, we need to do two front flips. Oh, pff, I fucked it. <laughs> And let me uh, get some music. I forgot I turned the sound off on this game. Um, so I'm going to use my own music. Plus all the music in this game is licensed. And I don't really want to have to deal with it in case it gets flagged. And I have to go through and be like, well, the game licenses the music. Because that just sounds like a pain in the ass. Uh, I just died. Occasionally the uh, world generation will... That wasn't so bad, I just came out of that at a really shitty angle, but sometimes the world generation will really fuck you over. But that's the same for all roguelikes with, uh, like, procedural generation, which almost all of them do, because that's pretty much one of the hallmarks. But, um, yeah, it's mostly just a, sort of a, a chill evening stream. I'll probably go for three hours or so and then raid somebody, not sure who. Um, this is going to be good. Two near misses. Now, the near misses I tend to just kind of ignore, because as I'm sure you can garner, a near miss uh, is <laughs> uh, almost, but not actually slamming into something. And, well, funnily enough, the thing with that is that you you might not miss, uh, and you might slam headfirst into something, and that would be bad. Oh, there's one. I don't think there's a way we can get another one, to be fair. Let's do this one. Yeah, there are, there are bosses in this game, but they're boss jumps. You do, like, very obscene leaps over stuff. It's, uh, it's kind of neat, actually. I've done one full run of this game once before. Um, uh, f full run of like um, basic mode, and I think one full run of advanced mode, but I'm not sure. This this game is very very hard. It's not like most roguelikes where you can sort of luck out and get like, you know, really good RNG. Um, because the boss levels and some of the later levels just as a whole are just absolutely fucking insane. Um, you, you, and a, and a lot of the boss levels are like, the, the, the boss jumps are just like, fucking insane, you know, like absolute fucking madness. Density of, um, yeah, basically you, uh, you, um, obviously you steer with the left stick and you jump with the right stick, so you, to, to sort of jump, you hold down and then go up like that. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a very sort of, it's, it, it feels very fluid, very natural, as opposed to just like tapping a button and then stuff happens. It, it, it feels, it, I, th I think it's a, it's a very like interesting aspect of this game. There's probably other games that do it, um, especially like by games, but I don't know, this is the only one I've ever played. Um, it's only one the only ever played and I've enjoyed. Trials just looks like a pain in the ass to me. Two 360s. I'm gonna say the 360s are pretty easy. Oh shit, I tried to do something cool, but I didn't have anywhere near enough height for it. Ooh, that was good. Earlier on, I read the, um,. Oops. Lost our speed, but that doesn't really mean anything. You can go as slow as you want on these levels. Here we go, here's the jump. We missed the train, though. We can't go over the train. Yeah. 
I, I came at that very, very gently because I didn't because all the boss jumps. Like if you think, you if if you if you think um, you're gonna overshoot them, you're gonna like undershoot them or something. And if you think you're gonna undershoot them, you just like fly off the end. It's uh, it's it's real weird. Uh, forest is disproportionately like ridiculously hard because of all these fucking trees. Um, you can get fucked so hard uh, on on this world like that. I mean, I did also fuck it up myself, but, you know. Uh, and also, there's no penalty for off-roading at all. There is, in fact, one of the factions that you can join in this game. There are factions, don't ask. Um, uh, it's specifically all about off-roading. And it makes you, you know, you can, it gives you better perks for, for doing that. So every time we, we fill a specific meter, uh, I don't think it's on screen now, but uh, we get... Um, like a like a, a like an engineer. Oh, I fucked that up real bad. Uh, who uh, I think the the yellow one does stuff with the track. The green one does stuff with your bike, and the blue one does stuff with like future levels and the map as a whole. Basically, the blue one is pretty useless. Um, the yellow one is a, is like a secondary one, and the green one is like actively the one you take every single time. And you and if there's not either one of the best yellow ones or no good green ones you always take a green one because uh, here we go so yeah there's this guy who just lets you scout further which it, it, that's one of the better blue ones actually but generally speaking it's not that good this is one of the shittier yellow ones because there's very few obstacles in this game um oh yeah this this is massive that one hmm i'm doing it we'll do an enemy one yeah that those ones on the on the left that was the um, the off-road guys. I'm informed that I have no bots. Cool. <laughs> was, um, I mean, it's not like the bots really count towards anything. They don't count towards your viewer count, to my understanding. I I, I generally have it hidden, so I'm not getting all like like either f you know like mildly frustrated when nobody is watching or. You know, sort of... So, so I'm not constantly paying attention to it. I have to, like, specifically go out of my way to go and look. Um... Yeah. I suppose, like, uh, I guess I guess Twitch is good at bot detection, and they just... They very... Certainly in my experience, at least, they don't count, like, bots and shit. Uh, for your, um... View count. Yeah. Finish without breaking. Uh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're um. That's true. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um. I, I remember once. I think it's like a um. There's a video I saw that explains how view counts on like YouTube and Twitch work. It was um. It was a Tom. God, I forgot his name. Tom something video. Tom, it's not. I want to say Tom Holland, but it's like no, he's he is English, but he's much older and also blonde. Uh, Tom Scott, that's it. It's a video where he ex he's like a programmer and he explains. He is sort of. Well, I guess we'll do this one. Get more points. He he sort of explained how those views work and it's like a like a caching thing. So like the um all of the servers take like a rough estimation of the viewers and then count the number of views and then every like you know 10 seconds or so as opposed to real in real time because that makes a huge difference on the scale that twitch and youtube are on um they they actively update the view count so sometimes they overcount and undercount and every 10 seconds they sort of fix it um they, they sort of will, will fix it so that's why uh, if anybody's ever had that experience of posting a video to youtube and like coming back like you know 10 minutes later or whatever and, and seeing it have two views and then refreshing it and then it only has like three views or something like that i, I shouldn't have, i really should have done that well um it's that that's why i'm explained it very poorly but that's that's very very loosely how it works oh shit <laughs> i fucked that real bad Oh, fuck me. That's, I shouldn't have done that at all, but here we go doing it again. Oh, here I go killing again. Yeah. 
Um, I think I was talking before. I was. I read the. I read the new magic story earlier on, and I'm gonna watch the Spice Eight rank video on it later on. It's. Uh, it looks. It looks. It looks. Well. For, well. No. It doesn't. It looks. I read the damn thing. It was really good. Um. Um. It was. It was very very good. And uh, the way the way that Nissa and Jace are written is honestly it's wonderful. I really really like it. Nissa, Nissa, Nissa has gone from almost like a jokingly stupid character to me, to being like, oh, Nissa, this is great. I mean, she is also a fucking moron, but like, you know, she's a lovable idiot. Oh shit, the, the, oh, it's so hard to get fucked on that, and also it's Firewatched, because I guess they like to make jokes, and maybe this game is published by the same dudes who published Firewatch? No, that's Chandra, Sh Chandra, who's, uh, all of her crushes are decisive or decidedly male. Uh, oh, it's just, oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe that book was allowed to be, like, so, like, someone read that book and went, yep, this, this is okay. Like we 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 can we can print this with like, you know, we 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 can print this with our with our Hasbro money and ship it to consumers. Yeah, that's certainly the the sort of the vibes I was I was getting. It's like um, there's like like J Jace makes a comment about Gideon at the end, and it's like apparently just Gideon was just such a cool guy, everyone just likes him. And it's like, well, I mean, yeah, he's Gideon. Every oh, yeah, no, that's big rips, big rips. Oh. Oh, got this jacket. I need to take this fucking jacket off. There's a bug flying around in front of me. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. I, I ooh, yeah, yeah, I really like that. Uh -huh. It also explains why Jace is in the set, <laughs> which. We otherwise just straight up didn't know. We thought he was just like kind of vibing on Zendikar because he was like, yeah, sure, Zendikar's kind of cool. Had some good times here, fought some Eldrazi. It was, it, was, it was all in all a good time. But nah, he's 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 like, he pissed off Nyssa uh, like real bad by being a little, a little weeb, I guess. I don't know. We can go for this sort of color scheme here. There we go, I got the- yeah, I, I, I did do it. I had the legendary jersey. Just looking for something that matches, you know. Shit's important. Can't look- can't be looking too stupid. Could just go with that. Yeah, that kind of works. I mean, I look pretty stupid all the same, but, um... Got a got a cool got a cool like outrun shirt. That's pretty cool. I'm not I'm not I'm not super crazy on outrun, but like I I, I you know it's it's in a it's of a very similar ilk to the shit I like. So yeah, you know, I got a lot of respect. And also, the DeLorean is is a pretty cool looking car. So uh, you know I, I I respect that. Uh, let's do career plus. Uh, the desert is super fucking boring, but uh, the rest of it isn't. Uh, the, the, the jungle is kind of cool. It's like uh, everything the forest is sucks for, but they made it work. They made it less sucky. But yeah, the desert is literally just all dunes. On the higher steepness levels, it does become pretty fucking crazy, but for the most part, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That is something I, uh, speaking of magic, actually, like, obviously I've been doing a lot of rank jank, and the season has shifted now, we've, uh, we got defaulted back into Silver 3, which is the highest I've ever been put back to, by the way. Which, so it certainly means we, we certainly did quite well last season, playing a bunch of rank jank. That, that was cool, I had a lot of good time with that. But, um, something I want to do is I want to do set design, because I, I, you know, obviously I, you know, do D&D &D design on a Monday. Uh, and that's really, oh, I, oh, I <laughs> nice, okay. Do D and D design on a Monday, and that's really really fun. Uh, I have some big plans for that. I want to make psionics work. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Um, but on on sort of on top of that, I want um, I want to do some like magic like set design or even just card design, because I, I I 
very much enjoy it, as I'm sure Spider Silk is acutely aware. Because <laughs> um, basically, I just spend all my free time doing that shit, because it's like, oh, here's a cool idea, and just, you know, open up Magic Set Editor and just dick around for five minutes. And then that five minutes inevitably turn into an hour when I make, like, seven more cards. Just just for the fuck of it. It's a good time. I want to do something like that. Because I, I have a set I've been working on that I want to sort of scrap a lot of and come back to, like, the basics with. And I think doing that on stream could be kind of fun. Oh, um, damn it, I didn't see your question before. Um... To my understanding, because obviously I didn't read the book, because I don't hate myself that much. Um, um, from from the various interpretations of it and representations of it I have seen. Oh, you made that graphic? Holy shit! <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty fucking cool. Um, uh, but uh, basically, Dermot. Um, I think it's right at the end of War of the Spark Forsaken, where they go, all the planeswalkers, they go to Theros to have a funeral for Gideon, um, who obviously dies at the end of War of the Spark. Um, and um, uh, basically after that, Chandra and Nyssa talk, um, and it, it's like a chapter from Chandra's perspective. And Chandra is basically a massive asshole to Nyssa, from, um, based on some of the things that Nyssa says in, in the new story. Uh, Chandra's just a dick to her. Um, and says a bunch of really horrible things to her. Um, oh, thank you very much for the follow, Bobby. Um, ah. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> I fucked that up. But, um, yeah, they, uh, they, they, she says a really bunch of horrible things to her, and then Chandra, obviously, like, her inner monologue is like, all of Chandra's crushes had always been decidedly male, like a Gideon. Uh, and it's just like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, this, this, like, budding budding romance of like you know relatively important representation magic has been building up to for like four years or maybe i think longer than that and it's just like and completely destroyed in a single sentence uh by some crackpot author who's just really terrible um like there's the fucking spelling mistakes in his book i mean fair enough that's not i mean that is on him for the most part but like didn't even hire a fucking editor. That much is pretty clear. But we got, we got. I, I fucked that up so bad. Uh, too busy trying to explain a section of the plot of a book I've not read. Um, but yeah, um, but it certainly looks to be the uh, based on sort of the new short story that thank God we've got back because I had I had a read of that and I was like <laughs> in the English exam. Yeah, I I like. Um, I, I, I sort of learned recently that my, my grade in English was nowhere near as, like, good as I thought it was. I thought, because, um, for, for those of you unawares, um, or who are not particularly privy, um, uh, England changed the way, uh, exams are graded, uh, for, like, 16-year-olds, uh, GCSE students, um, three or four years ago, uh, and I was, I was a part of the test year. Um, I was, I was, um, so we only had a couple subjects that were graded with the new system, and they used numbers for no reason, uh, you know, we used to just, you know, have, um, A, B, C, D, F, and U, um, and U is like, this is so terrible, we just didn't even grade this, like, fuck you, um, and they, they changed it to numbers, uh, 9 to 1, and a 1 is basically a U, is, you know, you failed completely. Uh, a two is, you know, like a, is like a D, so it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, uh, and a, and a three is like, uh, like a C, basically, the, the, like a, oh no, I think, I don't know, like, that's the point, is they're not one-to-one, -one. it is, is the thing that confused me, and I thought a, a six was like, it's not, though, like, both four and five, yeah, 
four and five are also representative of a C. So, you know, like, you know, the general, like, worldwide English-speaking world goes, you know, understands that grading system because, you know, almost all countries that speak English as a first language or use the Gregorian alphabet uh, in their first language use that system pretty, like, pretty much, pr like, pretty much exclusively. And, and like so with the new system being not at all one-to-one -one with the old makes it indescribably confusing um so i got yeah I, I got i got sixes in both of my both of my english papers uh which i learned is not a b it's like a high c low b kind of situation which i was i mean i understand because i'd have put like no fucking effort into english i lost the will to live with that fucking class um good god it's boring um, yes, seven, seven is like one-to-one -one with A. Um, I say I, 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 um, I fluked a bunch of really good grades, um, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. I was a coaster. Um, the, 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 the dreaded coaster. The people who put actual effort in. The, the, the person that they despise the most in the world. I put in some effort, but um. <laughs> uh, yeah, um. Ah, yes. It's just my face on a on a drinks coaster. Simple as. Now the jump on this level is seven shades of BS, and I fucking hate it. I, I, I fucking despise the jump on this level, it's the worst. We're getting close to it. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure how long, how late I'm going to play this game or how long. I want to try going into something else. I might play The Binding of Isaac um, after like a break or whatever. I'm not sure. I do very much like that game. That is, I think, to my knowledge, because a lot of games, you know, um, you know, a, a lot of games don't have time trackers. Um... Uh, you know, any any Steam game I have, I've put a lot of time into. I have no way of telling how long I spent on it, but I'm fairly certain my most played game ever is The Binding of Isaac: Rebirth, of on which I have about 600 hours. There's almost certainly games I've, you know, like video games I've played more, but I have literally no way to know what those games are. I reckon Minecraft is maybe up there. Um. Maybe my combined hours on the fourth generation of Pokemon probably exceed six six hundred, probably. But again, no clue, no clue whatsoever. Oh shit! So yeah, there's the jump. There's the pyramid. Uh, the issue with it is that it is you almost never get the height you need to clear the damn thing. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough height to do this. Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. No, I, no, I did manage. It's it's when you have to do a stunt to get over the pyramid is when it becomes pretty fucking impossible. Smooths out the curve, the curveness. Smooths out them curves. Oh. I like this train. This is good. Yes, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Enjoying? Enjoying themselves. You can enjoy with yourself, become spiritually one with your your you know your body or something, I'll fucking know. Jesus Christ. I I like I play Pokemon games. Oh, sweet. How is it? Cause it cause it looks interesting. But I'm like It, it, it looks very mechanically complex in a way that I very much like, you know, it's not, it's, you know, you have two gauntlets and each gauntlet has a different, you know, energy to it and you can combine them and do cool shit with them, which is a, a layer of complexity I very much like. And if it's anything like uh, uh, criminally underrated Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards, uh, in which you, uh, the, each individual combination, um, um, 
Each individual combination creates new abilities. Yeah, it, it looks kind of nice. It, it looks like cell shaded or something like that. I have no idea. I haven't really looked. But um, it's something I may consider, but I'm not really sure if I want to infect my computer with Epic Games Store, you know? I've, I've just like a personal disgust for the Epic Games Store that cannot be expressed in words. And it, and it makes me, like, the fact that it exists makes me kind of angry. <laughs> That's true, but the controls will be shit on Switch, and and, you, and, uh, and if there's crossplay, it'll be even worse because then I'll be against people who have PC controls, and it'll be even and they'll be even better. Oh, oh shit! Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> first person ragdolling down a hill is is quite funny. Why is this albums like this? It's al albums, like five albums. Why is this so fucking good? It's like eight hours of music as well. I think I've only had like a couple of repeat tracks, having streamed to this uh, this um, this playlist for many many hours now. I also um, I think I mentioned this earlier on, but I, I have uh, determined my team for Black tomorrow, which I will be starting at um, 1 p.m. Uh, BST. Um, I fucked that up real bad. Um, Joe, you'll be very happy. Um, uh, you know why, but, um, uh, the, 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 like, the rest of you currently don't, because you have no context. Um, I, I also told Katie earlier on when she was streaming, because uh, I was doing it while she was playing Mario Kart. I do love how, like, my PC screen is so fucking bright that whenever it slightly changes colour, it, like, illuminates my face. I do find that quite funny. Um... Ugh. I think what we'll do is we will play... So I, I often, um... The games I love the most, and it's the reason I love roguelikes so much, are time killer games. Games... I can play. Oh, that's oh, that's pretty cool. It's like um, like how I was more or less like playing one on one f uh, with um, Pisces Shark when he was in uh, in my in my X playthrough. Like there were several stages where I, he he came in and was like, "Oh, I'm just doing this right now." It was it was, and then and then literally the next day he was like, "Yeah, I'm about to do, do the Elite Four, and I was like, "Oh, holy shit, okay." And then it wasn't until like the week after I did the Elite Four. But, um, yeah, I'd say, uh, ro roguelikes are, especially ones like D Descenders and The Binding of Isaac and stuff, which you can just kind of zone out and play. Like, they're, f they're fun enough to be engaging, or they're engaging enough to be fun, but they're not in d so in-depth that you have to put your entire focus into them. Um, so you can just kind of, just kind of, like, just space out and just sort of, do, you, know, I, I, you know, be doing something with your hands. And be sort of, you know, processing two things at once whilst I'm watching like Critical Role or whatever. Because uh, that that was like, I'm still I still need to catch up on Critical Role because um, I haven't finished uh, last week's episode yet. Oh shit! I just realised I'm not gonna have a chance, am I? Fuck. Because I'm I'm like streaming like every afternoon for the next several days. Then again, uh, next Monday for me is going to be uh, pretty good, and I'm, I, I'm I may start a bit earlier streaming, but um, uh, I suppose it makes sense. Like Ultra Tank, who 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 do you get to keep going into into white? Obviously, presumably, at least you get to keep Blissey because it's fucking impossible to kill a Blissey.
Right. <laughs> I'm gonna do another run. Uh, we'll start a canyon. Oh, whoops. To a 720. Oh, that's uh, two 360s at once. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm real smart. You can, you can thank me later. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's an answer. Yeah, I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna try that. Too risky. Ah, now I kind of came out at an angle. Fuck me. That's pretty good. There we go. Gotta got love Gastrodon. I, I, Gastrodon is 100% on my team. Uh, we're playing, we're playing um, uh, Descendants, sadly not Breakfast. Breakfast is, is not going on here. Yes, welcome in, Libby. Welcome in. It is 8 p.m. Alas. I take it you're still playing Crusader Kings? I had a lot of fun with Crusader Kings 3 yesterday. I'm, I have to say, like, I'm really disappointed that you are locked into two specific years. Uh, like, start years. Which, like, frankly, that's, that's fucking stupid. Um, but, you know, like, it's, it's not the, the end of the world, I suppose. Well, uh, they're all, well, there's, there's, the, the, all the, all the, of the six options, there's, um, like, they're almost all the same. There's two 1066 starts and, um, three 896 starts or something like that. Oh, like, like I said, they're, they're all, there's, there's, there's only, the, the, the two options are just like scenarios or whatever. Gives you a set list of interesting characters to play. But yeah, I, I still definitely like, I stand by what I said yesterday where it's like, the second game has a hell of a lot more variety, but the third game, uh, from what I've played of it thus far, and I've, you know, obviously I've played it for about five hours because I played it yesterday, has, is a lot more streamlined and a lot more cleanly put together. But the second game has so much more to do, and uh, so many more options. But I'm sure I'm sure the third game will get way better with time, because like CK2 had been out since like 2012 or some bullshit. So, and and this game has been out for like two days. So that's sort of the the merit of Paradox Games is that they don't you know they don't release a new game every year. Um, and you know the the same the same marginally better game every year, they'll they'll sell you, you know a a, a ten dollar DLC that improves the game you already have. And I and whilst a lot of people don't particularly like Paradox's um, DLC policy, I actually really like it. I think I think it's I think it's very fair. Um, I'm sure there's a few games where it isn't, but in the Paradox games I've played, namely um, Cru uh, like the both the Crusader Kings games. Uh, and uh, City Skylines, it's, uh, in my experience at least, is extremely fair. Fuck. Could play some Apex Legends, but I'm not sure. This is meant to be a chill stream, not a me getting really mad at people on the internet stream. <laughs> Cause that game just pisses me off. I love Apex, it's so fun, but holy shit, the RNG makes me want to die. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, this game's really great. Like, um, I, I've put I've put a lot of hours into this game. It's 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 really, really fun. If if like if oh fuck me. Like if, if you're ever, you know, in a position where you've got where you're like watching something or you've got some time to kill, this this game and also you don't mind like your hand turning into like 
potty. Ow. Fucked it up. Um, I suppose we'll give that another crack. Let's see if we can have another crack at Canyon. Oh, God, this fucking jacket. I should not have put this on. Oh, Christ. Oh, I hate having to lean forward and, like, get super close to the camera. It makes me massively uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, more or less. If, if, if you're really bad at it, I'm, like, pretty, pretty bad at this game. But I think everybody is. I think the kinds of people who are incredible at this game are the kinds of people who have put, like, several hundred hours into it. Which I suppose is true with most games, to be fair. There's a, there's a, there's a handful of games that I've, I, would, I, I would say in the past I was naturally quite good at. But those were fairly few and far between. And most of them didn't hold my interest long enough. Um, especially if they're like roguelikes or whatever, and it's like, well, you know. This, this game is meant to entertain me for like 80 hours, and I've played it for 7, and I've already beaten it twice. What the fuck? Uh, we could play uh, Wizard of Legend. I do very much like that game. I've uh, put a lot of hours into Wizard of Legend. It's very, very good. But uh, I think I think after this we're going to do Binding of Isaac because that game is. I have I have a lot of lot of positive memories of the Binding of Isaac. It's a very good game. Specifically the second one. I've never played the first one. Shit, I need to do a double bank flip. Oh fuck. It's all good. It's all good. God. I've like actually I'm actually like sitting at like a reasonable posture for once, and I'm like, this is both incredibly comfortable and indescribably uncomfortable at the same time. But that's what lack of lumbar support will do for you. And just having a shit chair in the first place. I had a job interview the other day, though, and uh, I, I can safely say it went very well. So, job, good, I, I guess. Money, buy, buy a chair with lumbar support. Spinal injury bad. Mistake. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, right. Speaking of the ancestor, could also play Darkest Dungeon, but I'm very bad at that game. I'm fucking horseshit at Darkest Dungeon. problem with a lot of the games I really like is, oh good god, I feel like my wrist is about to, like, you know, explode in a shower of blood and sinew, because holy shit, I'm in absolute fucking agony. Oh, you guys, uh, that's the thing that my face is covering, is uh, whenever I get a, a score, it ticks down in the bottom left, but I don't think anyone really gives much of a shit about that. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Oof, owie, ow, ow, my bones. So it's all that, all that practice at Mario Kart. Probably. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> right, I think I think that's the cue to probably stop playing this game, you know? Holy shit, that was that was embarrassing. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. oh fuck me. Oh my wrist fucking hurts. But um yeah, I'll say. Uh, this game, this game's very good. Um, I think it's like sixteen bucks on Steam. It's one of those, you know, standard indie game price where it's, you know, it's it's a lot cheaper than your average game, but still not, you know, like under a under a tenner. Um, it's um. I I would I would highly recommend it if if you like the look of it. Strongly recommend it. But um. I'm gonna quit the game. Oh, I'm gonna put this fucking controller away before my wrist like gains sapience and begins screaming at me and my mother tongue, which is the one I'm speaking in right now, so I don't speak any other languages. I'm a typical white boy. I only speak one language, and that language is the language of me. <laughs> oh fuck me. Uh, right. The Binding of Isaac. Love this game. Give it a minute. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself. Drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his hey. mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. May as well watch this. Was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become mm -hmm. corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last oh, time, I picked the wrong category. Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked. But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Oh, no. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. <laughs> kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around this room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down. So that's um that's this game it's very strange um right i have a lot of progress on this save file i think you know we're not gonna like start a new save or anything like that uh yeah i've like beaten the game as isaac there's, all, there's a bunch of characters i have almost all of them uh i don't have um greed though i don't remember how to get him how do you um how do, how do you unlock no, not Greed, what's his name? The Keeper. Let's Google how we unlock the Keeper. Or Keeper. He's called. Donate 1,000 coins to the Greed Donation Machine. Which uh, play, it involves playing Greed Mode and completing Greed Mode. 
which is both very hard and not very fun, because greed mode kind of sucks. Ugh. So, <clears throat> now I'm not interested in losing even more feeling in my wrist, so we're not going to play as Azazel. We are going to play uh, just as Isaac, just on a normal, a normal playthrough. Uh, now, the enemies in this game are a little... They're a little strange. Uh, you will catch on quite quickly as to how. As evidenced here by everything you are seeing, um, this game's rather odd. And kind of gross sometimes, but it's very good. Um... For those unaware, this is made by Ed McMillan, the guy who made Super Meat Boy, which is a game about a boy who is made of meat, uh, which I think should tell you everything you really need to know. Um, except Isaac is a child who cries his enemies to death. Like, these are his tears. It's, uh, it's, it's a very normal game. Like, you know... I take back what I said. This game is just completely regular. There's nothing unusual about it whatsoever. What is this? Creepy bombs. We also have bombs. Because... Sure. Sure we do. It's Monstro. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll probably play this game for about an hour. Then I'll take a break. And then, um... Yeah, then we'll, um... Do something else. What that is? No clue. But uh, that's sort of the idea, I guess, of tonight. Is to just kind of not really have a plan. Not kind of force myself to sit down and play a game for many, many hours. Just kind of vibe. I just change the stream title to just just vibin', you know. Just vibin' like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ugh. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, there are there are poops, and sometimes they have things in them, which is very distressing. Oh, a small rock! We've been bludgeoned by the small rock. Uh, uh, akin to Risk of Rain, um, every item you pick up uh, sort of physically changes Isaac in some capacity, to in in varying degrees of concerningness. Um, sometimes he turns into a ghost. Sometimes he turns into a demon. Sometimes, well, sometimes he turns into a cat. And sometimes he just gets a series of very horrible diseases. So, um, yeah. Normal stuff. Normal stuff. Oh, I missed the... Yeah, sadly, we cannot go into the gold room with an item in it because we need a key and we do not have one. We have, oh, we have eight coins, two bombs, and no keys, and we need keys. I'm gonna explore this level to like the highest degree I can and see if I can find a key. Cause I want to open that fucking door. I don't. Want, I want to fall behind. We got some good items so far. We got high damage. Um, what's that? We were. At, we were at, What's our damage? I'm not sure remember. Is it the... Yeah, I think it's... Uh... Oh, no, I'm just looking completely wrong. But yeah, we have 8.4 damage, which is pretty decent. I think that's per tier. I think. I can't remember. Um, tiers are 9. Uh, I think it's like 9 tiers every 5 seconds or something like that. I think is, is, I think is that ratio. Um, but I don't know. His little horn. I hate this boss. He's really annoying. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, we also just made a deal with the devil. Um, and got ourselves a knife that floats around us. So, that's pretty good. But yeah, we didn't find a key, which sucks. Big sad. Do a challenge room? Sure. Oh, we actually got a bunch of really good stuff out of it. Normally, <laughs> challenge rooms, like, you'll open them up and they'll, they'll just have, like, fuck all in them. Uh, some bony boys. Yeah. Uh, sacrificial knife is, or dagger, or whatever the fuck it's called, is a very good item. Because if you stand th near things, they will die more or less instantly. And I think it also blocks projectiles, too. It's a very good item. I want to check if it blocks items, but I have no real way of doing that right now. It does. That's very useful. Flatworm. Oh, and our tears, our tears are wider. Oh, there's a key. Use the bomb and it'll blast this this way. That's a pretty shitty item. We're going to re-roll it into Flatstone Skipping Tip. I've never seen this item before. I've never once... This is... this. I'm not sure how what this does or whether it's any good, but um, I'm interested in seeing how useful it is, if at all. Does it bounce over enemies? That's the question. Because if it does, then it's probably pretty fucking terrible. Some Jesus juice. Hell yeah. Oh, Krampus. Hopefully he gives us a lump of coal and not Krampus' head. Because Krampus' head is kind of shitty, I am. Oh, fuck. Oh. Now he gave us Krampus' head. Can we re-roll it? We can re-roll it into the void. Which is... Mm. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the void, what it does is when you use it, it consumes all items in the room. Um, if they're an active item, it absorbs them. And the next time you use the void, it will copy that active item's effects. Actually, well, I just realized that was a really bad idea. I should not have done that. That was a really stupid, because it also, no, yeah, I, I fucked myself here. That was really dumb. I shouldn't have done that at all. Oh no. Defeated by my own logic. Though, I think that's a universal experience for everybody, let's be honest. Um, uh, F's in the chat, boys. I did something real fucking stupid. <laughs> Swallowed the D6 with the void. Oh, I'm such a fucking moron, holy shit. I can't believe I did that, that was so dumb. F's in the chat. Right. So what the void does to passive items is it consumes them and gives you a random stat increase. So if you find like a dud item, which there are a lot of in this game. Oh, Jera, that's good. Jera doubles all pickups, pickup items in the room. Which is very useful. See, like this shit item. See, 
because I have the d6 in it, it instantly re-rolled it into something really good, st stigmata, and then consumed it. <laughs> oh, that, that fucking sucks. Um, I, just can't, I can't believe I did that. was so fucking stupid. Uh, yes, how's everybody's evening going? Because I am just chilling in Cedar Rapids. I'm gonna just ignore Little Chub because it's pretty bad. Don't need hearts right now. Just checking something real quick. Stars will take us to a treasure room. Ooh, this is a this is an active item to my to my memory. Uh, the gold key gives us infinite keys for one floor, so it's quite good. Yeah, I get shit out of that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing a bit more Crusader Kings in my own time. I'm gonna play some more uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, all going well. Uh, I'm, I'm not not 100 sure. So I've I've realised I'm like streaming like pretty much like all day for the next like three days. I'm not 100 sure how I feel about that, you know. Um, so I may I may call off like one of the rank jank streams or something like that. It depends on how I feel really. That is an active item. Uh, it's quite good as well. So having that available will be quite useful. Now I just need to like get into shops and. Um, by battery related items to help that charge faster. Petrified poop. Uh, nah, I'll stick with flatworm. Oh, speaking of uh, batteries. Battery and battery. Instant recharge. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll see how I feel on any given day in which I'm doing that, you know? But, um. It, it it really depends on how I feel because um, I I have I have um I have a very important things to be working on at the moment because um, uh, my my mega ultra project Angela's Deific Dictionary is a big big book of deities for any RPG needs um, marketing plug success something. Um, Oh, what's this? I don't remember what that does, if anything. Um, that that's sort of in like test reading stages. I, I did some some reading of it uh, this morning. I got about like ten pages in, uh, and it's it's like an eighty fucking page <laughs> book. So it's gonna take a while. Um, yeah, it took me about an hour to get about a uh, ten pages through and like do do sort of some some soft editing on it because um, a lot of the stuff is like older stuff that I need to go through and shit like that. But um, my aim is to have it done and out, uh, to to have it completely finished within the next month at the latest and out by like October at the latest as well. Double active. I'm going to have to look what this does, because I don't actually know. It's one of the cards. Oh, I forgot that there's a bunch of uh, magic cards. Well, there's three magic cards in this game. There's Chaos Card, Huge Growth, Ancient Recall, and Error Walk. There's also Cards Against Humanity. The 
Question mark can't really. Copies the effect of eyes that's currently held active collectible. That's very good. Let's use Jera and double everything in here. I don't want to be using that. Sadly, we can't pick up both question mark cards, but having an extra one is going to be very, very handy. It's going to be a handly dandy, as one might say. No one might say that. That's, that's very strange. A very strange thing to say. Uh, but yeah, basically we're trying to sort of progress down. Uh, there are several different sort of branch routes we can take. We go to he uh, we can go to heaven or we can go to hell, um, amongst other things. Um, yeah, that's sort of one of the many many things we can we can do in this game, amongst the many 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 strange things that can be done. Let's give this a check. Uh, what's this do? Uh, Guppy's collar, it's sort of, but not really eternal life. If you die, you have a chance of getting extra lives. Uh, but that chance, I think, is like 50-50 like or something. And it, it, it's like cumulatively decreases by something. I, I, I don't know how it works, but I know it has a, a, a inconsistent chance to give you an extra life if you die. So you should never rely on it. Yes, yeah, so I'm very much looking to start looking forward to starting Pokemon Black tomorrow. That's gonna be really cool. Um, Judas's Shadow also gives us an extra life, so I don't think we're gonna need that. It gives us range and speed, which is not particularly useful. Fuck, we could have used the reroll over there. Reroll machine. Whoops. Oh, whoops. I tried to, I got greedy for the battery. I wanted it. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Oh, there's another battery. Sweet. Yeah, these things, um... These things are interesting. You're welcome to have a guess at what they are. You'll probably be right. We certainly don't need that. The Emperor takes us to the boss room, and the boss room is literally right here. Oh, the boss is... is... is the mother. Let's just... And she stamps down, and stompy moves, and her horrible flesh just sort of protrudes into the room. It's pretty gross. But that's that can be said about more or less anything in this game, to be fair. Right, I think we may as well commit and go to hell. Oh, these items are really fucking good. Uh, ooh, yeah, we're definitely going to take Rotten Baby, because uh, we get flies. And Guppy's head is not really worth it. And can we... Can we re-roll with this? Oh, yes we can, right. Okay, so it does have some use, us having eaten that. So we get Abaddon, which is, ver which is a very good item. Oh, there's there's Mum's knife. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the challenge, the challenge room. Uh, so yeah, Mum's knife is a very powerful item that does a lot of damage. Uh, like that, how I just like instantly killed the, those two bosses. It does that much damage. Oh, there's Dingle, and now he's dead. Yeah, Mum's knife is a good item. Uh, as I'm sure you've probably gathered by the fact that I've said that like three times, and also that, you know, you've probably seen that's quite good. Oh, it's famine, okay. Oh, shit. The only issue being is that most keyboards don't recognize, like, three or more inputs at once. So having these sort of like charge up items does sort of restrict your movement a little bit. You can't really move in diagonals, uh, which does. Or it's very awkward to move in diagonals anyway, because you can do it, but it's just kind of hard. 
Um. Normally this challenge area would be very, very difficult, but because we have Mom's Knife, it's a piece of piss. Ow. Fuck you, Monstro 2. Where's the other boss? In the room. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, we need to kill this stupid bone boy. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I just realized what's coming up quite soon. Halloween. Fucking hate Halloween so much. For the fiery, burning passion that sort of enters my, my very essence and permeates my being. I just have. There, there, is, there is nothing. There is no mortal holiday on this, on this terrible earth that I hate more than Halloween. Like, holy fucking shit. Oh, fuck. He's about to shoot a big laser at me. I don't want that. Oh, Death is here. Hey, Death. Had a good time there, buddy? He wasn't having a good time. Okay. Is that it? No, it's not. It's still going. Oh, fuck. I'm actually running out of health now. Need to be more careful. There's Peep. He's called Peep because he puffs his eyes out. Now he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where his eyes are. He's dead. God, still going. Holy shit. I think this might be it, though. No. Hey, that's it. Okay, right. We got this random item that I'm pretty sure is kind of bad. So we're just going to reroll that. <laughs> and get not much out of it. We did get the knife, though, and the knife is very, very good. How do we leave? Where is the exit? Oh, my God. Oh, I th th there's still enemies in here, right? I was like, what? The exit hasn't spawned, but it hadn't because I haven't killed all the enemies. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, we're going to Utero. Oh, no, just womb. Ah, uh, fuck. I did it's so hard to see the red creep on the ground because the ground is also red. It's a really shitty design decision. These guys make red creep to... Ooh, I need to be very careful here. Because I'm, like, one strong hit away from just dying. And maybe I'll get my guppies, but, um, like, I'm not going to take my fucking chances, you know? I got a lot of damage. Uh, because, um, flies uh, scale with your damage, which is why Rotten Baby is really, really good. There's a lot of baby items in the game, and most of them are really bad. But Rotten Baby is, is like, genuinely really, really good. <laughs> Because because flies scale so hard. Um, like there are there are builds in this game. There are even sort of like special sort of character classes you can build into if you get the right items. You can be Guppy. You can be Cthulhu uh, or Leviathan. I think it's called because uh, Cthulhu is presumably copyrighted by somebody. Probably not anybody in Lovecraft's family, especially because he didn't have the kids either. I don't think. Oh, yay, cancer. Oh, shit. Okay, right. Thought that was going to be the end of us there. But it was not. Everything is fine. Ooh, 
Nope, can't pick that up. We have exactly one heart, and uh, this is not good. I'm sure, everything will be fine. Though. There's also no um, uh, item rooms the, the, uh, from this point on. Um, from this sort of area onwards, there are no more. Oof. I almost took a bunch of damage there, that would be bad. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, we get some black hearts, maybe? Mega troll bombs and regular troll bombs. That was... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> That fucking sucked. Um, right. Um, oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure how that thing hit me, but it did. Um, so yeah, big rips, big rips. Um, we'll try, we'll, 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 we'll do, we'll try another run, um, and then we'll, we'll probably move on to something else, I think. We'll, uh, we'll play the Forgotten, who is, I think, my favorite character in the game. He's a little bone boy, he swings his little bone, he's the only melee character in the game, he's his little bone. And then also, he turns into a ghost. And he has two separate health bars as well, it's very cool. Very, I very much like the design of the Forgotten. He's very well put together. Ow. Whack. Oh, we have a Curse of the Lost, what looks things, because we do not have a map. That's uh, very much pain in the ass right there. Bob's brain? Yeah, we're just not going to bother. <laughs> Bob's brain is very bad. It's, uh, more often than not, it is going to fuck you over, as opposed to anything else. Very inconsistent, very inconsistently, the brain will fly out and will explode on the first enemy or explodable surface it comes into contact with. Including if that's directly right in front of you, and it will damage you. It's, it's a very bad item. Especially for the, the only melee character in the game. You can increase your range, and you can do a little charge thing and throw your bone. But, you know. I, I, I also often forget the little ghost mode you have is a thing. Because there are very few instances where just not being Bone Boy is not, like, objectively better than anything the ghost can do. Except right there. But uh, even then, you can just throw your bone, so it doesn't fucking matter. I really do not like Ragman. Ragman pisses me off. So we got shot speed. Shot speed is good because it lets us swing our bone faster. Oh god. This chest is so fucking uncomfortable. Like, my god. I'm just checking something. Oh. What item is this? Bursting sex, spider love. Uh, I think this item's okay. Uh, spiders are like flies, just worse. So, you know, they're, they're, it's it's like... But flies are like so good, they kind of break the game a bit. So, I think it's pretty reasonable that they're, they're like flies, just not as good. Uh, why, is, why is this a thing? Why? Why is this spawning so early on? Why is he immune to them? God, that was... Why the fuck did he spawn there? Like, if it was regular pride, that would that would be fine, but... It wasn't regular pride, it was super pride on, like, floor two. Which is ridiculous. 
You're fucked by RNG. Living the life, in other words. Oh, what kind of f spiders are these? Like weird silver spiders. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I fucking died. <laughs> um, right. I think, if anything, that's probably a good time to take a bit of a break, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I th I'm not sure if we'll keep playing this game when we come back. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like we might try and look for something else. If anybody has any suggestions, uh, do feel free to give, to give them a shout, uh, assuming I have them. Um, but yeah, um, the rest of y'all, get yourselves a drink, that sort of thing. I'm going to do the same. Uh, I'll be back very shortly.